hey guys welcome back to my channel guys um this is baby memphis and we're just popping in to say hello i wanted to show you guys what he was wearing i you know i know i sometimes i do like the changing videos and then sometimes i just i don't want to change him out of this and i changed him off camera so yeah so basically i saw this little um onesie it was actually on clearance and um it says I look up to auntie and I, I thought that was so cute because you know we'd be like hey aunties you know and I actually been had this little hat um from H&M I bought it for I think I bought it when I was doing the prototype for Cody so it's got the little <laughs> thing in the back but I was like you know just to have him some hats on when he was bald um, for photos and stuff, but I didn't really never use it. Um, and even though it's summertime, I still feel like um, it's okay because, like I said, it, it gets so cold in here because we, of course, since it's summertime, we have the air up so high. And I just thought it was cute on him because he had on the little um, giraffes. And this is like a, like a bear print. So it's like he got on bears and giraffes, little animals. I don't know. That might be a monkey. I don't know. But he got on all the little safari look stuff. But I thought it was cute together. But it was his little feet. So, um, if I had to choose, like, without, you know, like, really giving a whole lot of thought to things, and say who was my favorite, favorite reborn in my collection right now, I would have to say it's Memphis. Um, and I've had him for a little while now, so it, it is not just the new. Um, I really, really love his sculpt. I love the skin tone that he came out to be. And trust me, that was not the skin tone that he was supposed to be. He was supposed to be a light skin baby. And he ended up being a brown skin baby. And I'm just really, really happy with that. Um, really, really happy with his lip color. Like, there's little things that, you know, when you have to paint for yourself. I don't know. Okay, let me explain it. Sometimes, you know how you want something good to eat? And you get in the kitchen and you just cook, cook. You know, you cook your whole soul out. Like, you just enjoy you make it all pretty you fix your fancy food but when you get done you really just don't even want to eat it because you cooked it and you just it's like you're done like you don't now i don't want to eat it like it's weird right sometimes when you paint a baby you be so into it you be so hyped up you love it and then you love the way it come out and then after that it's kind of like you're fulfilled it's like okay and then it's like you can sell it and then there are some that lingers and you kind of like, oh, I can't sell it. But then after a couple days, you're like, okay, you can go now. Um, but then there's some time when you, you cook that dish and you've been waiting for it to get done. As soon as it get done, like you sample along the way. But as soon as it get done, you, you fix you a, a, a sample plate. <laughs> Maybe it's just the fat girl in me. But, you know, it's, you fix a sample plate. And you just, you just, oh my gosh. And then you can't wait to, to have the leftovers because you know it's better the next day. Anyway, I don't know why I'm using a food analogy to the dogs. But anyway, sometime I'll make a baby and it's like, I love it. I love it, love it. And then it's like, I don't, okay, this one, this one can't go. And that's kind of how he is. Also, like his waiting, um just turned out really good and when i say turned out i say this like seriously sometimes some babies i don't care how good you try to weight them it just they just still don't be as floppy or don't fall right somebody asked a question in the forums the other day they was like does chase by bonnie brown like is he a cuddly baby does he cuddle good i can't remember as well but I want to say that kit was one of the ones that it took me a couple times to get it weighted right. Um, Sometimes it's the way, I don't know, it's maybe the way that the limbs fall or maybe the head is not 
as big and you know I don't know but this baby look he's bald so he has he has a fairly big head actually and so it really you see what I'm saying he his head if I let it it falls back and so he's very like you know floppy posable but then you know he got these little chunky thighs and his little body is like just right like his tummy is like is he's just weighted like really really good i don't even know what body i got him on i think i bought the body or it came with a body i can't remember to be honest but yeah so he is like a keeper baby but that's the other thing too like you know um and it's a it's i, I don't want to say it's a community thing i think it's just a people thing you know people tend to will make and, and and part of this could be just us but i feel like i see a lot of where people make it feel like you know owning a reborn is lesser than you know owning a silicone like ooh you know she got silicones a whole bunch of silicones she's high end or you know some people do say oh that's a high end reborn collector but you know it's like I guess because we're always like, well, if you can't afford silicone, get reborn. Like, it's like, well, if you can't, like, that's just an alternative choice. No, some people prefer reborns over silicone. And, you know, the whole thing of, oh, the silicones warm up to you and they get so warm and, you know, it's just a different thing. The reborns warm up to you. They get warm because our body heat, you know warms up just like you hold a blanket long enough that blanket becomes really warm same thing with the babies so you know that that theory is debunked but the difference in the silicone i will admit it it is the the limbs are softer you know it's a it's a soft it's a feel like a you know more of a squish feel and stuff um these not a squish feel not like rock hard but to be honest when you're just holding them like right now like he got a little texture my babies i, I texture all my babies so he you know he feel he still feels good so i don't know i just i i, I think it's whatever you you prefer and definitely it does you know that you are more likely to find a reborn in your budget but not always because um, you know, reborns can cost thousands of dollars too. And, you know, a lot of people like, I can't justify it, you know, spending it in a reborn. Um, to a certain extent, yes. Cause I always say that too. Like, I'm not going to spend six, $7,000 on a reborn. However, if I had money, just lots and lots of money, I could see where I would do that without a problem. Um, especially for certain ones. There's one particular artist that I really, really like their work and I would probably pay $6,000 if I had it to get, uh, get my hands on their work. But, um, I don't, um, I think the reason why I say it that I won't spend over a certain amount on reborns is because I know that I don't keep my babies as much all the time. There's only a few that I normally keep, but I think I'm slowing down now. I think I am starting to keep quite a bit now, but I always worry about the resale value and reborns don't sell like the uh, silicones will on second market. But if you're a collector that keeps your babies and rarely sells your babies, or never sell your babies, then whatever the price tag is, if you really want it, is worth it then. Because most likely you're not gonna sell it anyway. Um, and I think with the reborns too, you get a lot, you get a lot of um, more detail in them sometimes, uh, depending on where you're buying them from and who you're buying them from. But not just that, just the, the sculpting itself, you're more likely to get the sculpt that you really, really love 
versus silicone. Silicone is like a hit or miss. It's so hard. It's like uh, me and a couple of the ladies are, you know, in search for particular babies. And it's like we all want different things, surprisingly, but we all want specific things in these babies that we're hoping will one day pop up. But it's like, and we send each other like different babies and then we kind of like go back and forth over it. I don't know if you guys do that with your friends, but we're like, oh, I love this. And then it's like some things, like me and my friend was talking the other day, and it's like some things that bothered her didn't bother me. And it was so funny because it was like, she was like, I really just, I, I just can't get over those, you know, what was it? I can't get over the smirk on the face. And I was like, well, that don't bother me as much. But I can't, I can't, I can't take the legs, you know, or I, I don't have a problem with the body style, but I don't like the face. Oh, I like the face. I don't really like the body. It's like, you know, so we all have these crazy things and it's just silicone is just harder. I think partials are nicer because sometimes because you don't have to worry about the body style not being nice you just put on the body but for me the painting of the partials ugh, i just can't do it i'm just not into partials painting wise i love partials but i hate painting them um i have an alex here and i'm telling you guys i really don't want to paint it but i can't waste my money so eventually i am gonna have to buckle down and paint it and maybe i'll just paint it slowly but it's it's more work than the full bodies in my opinion but that's just me but yeah so anyway and i guess i kind of really love him too because he's a good size and he's not but he's still baby and i i really love this sculpt look <laughs> this video is like and this is why i love him and this is why i love you because he has like a full lip bottom lip like his lips are more full and a lot of kids they don't give us any lips um even twin b with bonnie brown believe it or not have a fuller lip than a lot of the dolls dolls sometimes just don't have lips and it's like you have to like paint an illusion and yeah so i really like that <sighs> oh my gosh Anyway, see, just holding these babies just make you just sleepy and make you just, I just become so relaxed with the dolls. Like the dolls, I don't care what nobody say. I say it in every video. They are so relaxing and it's so like therapeutic and I don't really, I can't, I can't explain it. But you, you guys that collect out there know what I'm talking about. It's just. They just really, just really get you relaxed. But yeah, up close and personal, I really, really like this baby. I love the way his texture came out. I love the way his eyebrows came out. I just love everything about him. And I think that he's going to be the one that stays. I don't know, guys. Y'all know me. Let me know in the comment section. I already have one person wrote me that said, um, as soon as I made him was like, I know you said he's forever, but you always say that forever. Put me on the list if, if you let him go. Um, like he's one of the first babies that I'm like, not, I want to see him with hair, but I'm not anxious to get him hair because I'm worried that what if he gets hair and I don't, it changes the way I feel about it. But you know what? If he gets hair, I'll just put a hat on him if it changes the way I feel. I'll just still keep him with a hat on. I don't know. But he's... I know that I really like him because I don't even, like... All, even off camera, I don't worry about him getting rooted right away, even. I like him. He's okay bald. Like, I'm okay with him bald. Like, I can love him bald. And I do think he's a cute hat, baby. But I just, you know, so I think he's going to be one. But y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all think he's going to be a forever baby for me. Or do y'all think I'm going to end up selling him? I'm actually making a second kit like this too as well. So it might be a little fun. 
funny. But yeah. Do you wanna go to sleepy? <laughs> you wanna go to sleepy? And he and it might be also too. One other thing about him, it might be he is like similar to my grandbaby's skin tone too. That that might be something else too. I don't know. Do you wanna go to sleepy? It's gonna be so interesting to see what the second grandbaby is gonna look like. I am so curious about what it's gonna look like to have a boy. And we got, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm about to be a grandmama twice. This is crazy. Well, three times technically, but you know, two pregnancies, I should say. Two different kids, just FYI. <laughs> two different kids. Uh, Y'all know I got a whole bunch of kids, but all right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Rock a baby in the treetop. I think this is like the sweetest part. Oh, my gosh. I love you. When the wind blows, I don't think you're going to get your socks back on. Nope. Don't think so.